Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up eSIM on your smartwatch so you can take the calls or use data without needing your phone around. This does not cost you a single penny. It's completely free. However, it's a shame that Airtel prepaid does not support this where the Geo prepaid does. So I personally had to port from Airtel to Geo for this feature. Also, I'll try and answer all the questions like how you can handle the calls and other important questions or confusions that you may have so do not forget to like this video subscribe to the channel let's begin so the first thing that you need to do is since we are using the samsung galaxy watch you need to download something called the samsung galaxy wearable app available from the play store this works on pretty much any android phone and of course make sure that your watch is connected to the phone and also make sure that there is mobile data or wi-fi that is available so that it can actually connect to the network so you can see when you click on uh, the setup mobile plan in the watch settings it will take a couple minutes and it will ask you to enter your geo account details and if you have it you can go ahead and enter them well and good but since i'm coming from airtel i don't have this so i need to create this and sign up for the geo account and once i do that verify my account with the email sent to my email now we are back to business just go ahead and enter those details that we have created and once you're done this will show up so it will show you the device details here the galaxy watch 4 classic and just click on that it takes around a couple of minutes to set this up on your watch and it is already up and running and you can also see your mobile plan details in this screen as well so now if you look at the watch here if you go into the mobile networks you'll find three options one is auto or always on or always off here I'm going to choose the always on just to show you how it works so you can see the network signals are already appearing and it is connected to the geo 4g network as you can see I'll try and post the battery usage details with and without the mobile plan uh, in the pinned comment so how does it handle calls so firstly I'm going to turn off the Bluetooth and what's better is I'm going to switch it off and now the watch is on its own and now I'm going to make a call and yes there is a couple seconds of delay however it works really well the phone is completely off and i can actually make or take calls since the mic and speaker quality is pretty good no issue here however you can also choose to connect to a bluetooth headset here so that's even more convenient in another scenario where two devices are active or switched on let's see how this handles so i'm going to ring the phone up and it should ring up on both of these devices now the bluetooth is completely turned off uh, still it is going to ring up on both of these devices since the eSIM is set up on the watch and you can see the delay a couple of um, seconds of delay as you can see so let's take a call on the phone and see what happens so here uh, the watch does not show any sign of uh, phone calls going on I mean it's not like you can overhear the conversation like the old phones with extension etc even if I want to switch over to the watch right now it seems it's not possible without the Bluetooth connection so this time let's take a call on the watch and see what happens on the phone so I'm taking a call on the watch and you can see the phone again does not show any sign of call going on again you cannot switch to the phone in the middle of the call right now without having that bluetooth connection however you can use the bluetooth earphones at this point if you want so if they are paired with the bluetooth then yes it is possible to switch from the watch to the phone and vice versa in the middle of the call as you probably already know so i hope this video gave you all the information that you need so that's been it for this quick video guys please do not forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel thanks for watching i'll see you soon